welcome back in this video we are going to discuss about uh, you know the extensions and how you can connect your arc <clears throat> so before that this is I just wanted to clarify that this is a continuation of the how to set up your visual code for your Salesforce project so if you have landed here directly in this video just you know check the I button I have given a link of the playlist where you can start from the beginning to see how you can you know download install and then configure visual force for your salesforce project <clears throat> okay so here let's continue with this one so here i have created a project and i'll show you how to create this and how you can connect this with an org and how you can do like a, a you know check in check out and uh, deploy from here so stuff like that so before that let's go to the extension here and before you start there are some extensions that you need to install so the first of all in the previous video we have you have you might have seen we have installed uh, svn uh, tortoise svn and uh, yeah those two so in visual code we have to install a couple of extensions for that so first of all we need to install svn so this is the extension which we would be needing within visual force so i have already installed so that's why you can see uninstall button so you, all you have to do is just click this button install button if you haven't installed this button will be installed so similarly you don't have to install tortoise svn here because it's just a cell extension on the svn itself so svn is fine so after that you see a lot of other salesforce related extensions here right but we don't need to install all of this one by one if you go to any other any one of the you know extension you can see it's a package actually so there is a salesforce has provided a entire pack wherein you know if you install that pack you will have all the salesforce related uh, uh, you know extensions so here you can see do not install this extension directly install this one so i'll go to this extension pack oh sorry it's going to this one let's search here so i would say salesforce extension pack so here it is so i have installed that extension pack and it includes this apex interactive debugger replay debugger and cli this is also very one of the important thing uh, what i did is i installed the salesforce cli uh, directly downloading it from the salesforce website and uh, installed it before this but it is not recommended because in this extension pack itself you have the cli integration so you can directly once you download this extension pack the cli is also there as part of that and even the aura components visual force and lightning web component so you have everything that you need for the salesforce and it is ready okay so this is about extension so is there any other extension that i need to talk about uh, and this one diff if you search for diff yeah this is one of the useful extension i would say because it will be useful for you to compare the two files what is the changes in your local and what is the changes local means your working copy what is changes in your working copy and what is there in the org as well as what is there in the svn so this is one of the useful tool okay useful extension so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a project and connect that to an org okay let's see first how you create the project so what you can do is you should open the command palette for that you will press ctrl shift p you will get this command palette alternatively you can go here and click the command palette here so just remember memorize this ctrl shift p which you will be using frequently so once you come here you say create project and you select you can any of the type you can select i'll select standard and enter the project name i would say sf bids project okay so i'll give an alias name for this and here i can select any project or create a new project i would say i already created one i would say new sf bids project okay and i'll create a project so it will open here once the project is created it is creating a project here as you can see the status
as you can see uh, it has created a new project and all this default file so here how the structure is mainly you know the objects and everything will be stored here once you click on this one this is the head main and default and then comes all the applications or our classes layouts lighting web components objects. so all these objects will be under this four side so now what we'll do is now we have to connect to an org with which we can upload and you know download deploy whatever you want to do like this is an IDE you will work on all the objects here you know apex classes lighting web component so now let's see how we can go ahead and connect to an org so I'll press shift control shift P with which this command palette will open I'll authorize an org here you can select which one so I this is my developer org so I'll select production if you want you can select sandbox and even the custom URL as well so I'll give it a name alias I would say self bits org so this is just name of the org which you want to give in this visual studio code for this particular project so let's see it has opened the login page I will log in now So it will send me a code here since force bit sorry my bad so now it will send me a code to my mobile number I have given my mobile number so to authorize this it will send me a code I'm just waiting for the code as soon as I get it I'll enter and verify so that this org will be authorized and it will start coming up in Visual Studio where we can you know play around with this arc okay so I have got the code the code is 53920 so I am verifying it once it is done you can go to the Visual Studio and let's see how it so it last sales for CL is asking for this so I'm just giving it an access it opens my application home page so okay let's go back to the visual studio now so it says sfd is author authorized and all successfully ran show in the status bar or so let's make it show in the status bar something came up here it didn't come up anyway so you can see here sfbc bit org so this is the org with which it is connected and from here we can uh, say you know I will create a class it's it's not there let me just create a class test dot CLS and here I'll just put comments and save it and let's see I would say deploy to source org. so this should go to this org with which we just connected mm -hmm.